It really seemed like 2020 was nothing but one disaster after the next. Society weathered wildfires, volcanic eruptions, and obviously the coronavirus. I was hoping that 2021 would be better, but that's not exactly been the case either. Well, as it turns out, the worst may still be yet to come. There are plenty of imminent disasters waiting on the horizon, and with the way 2021 has been going, these events may just happen sooner rather than later. From earthquakes to volcanoes and so much more, here are five natural disasters that are simply waiting to happen. A lot of attention gets paid to the San Andreas fault line. It runs nearly the entire length of California, and people wait on bated breath for when the big one will finally strike. However, there is another fault line not too far away that people in the western United States should keep just as close of an eye on. The Cascadia Subduction Zone runs for about 700 miles along the coast of the Pacific Northwest. It begins around Cape Mendocino in California, continues through Oregon, and ends at about Vancouver Island in Canada. The reason why this stretch of land is referred to as a subduction zone is due to the fact that part of the region has one tectonic plate sliding underneath another one. Tectonic plates are responsible for rearranging the planet's continents, and while their movements are generally slow and harmless, occasionally the areas where these borders meet can be deadly. There is a very real possibility that the Cascadian subduction zone could give way all at once. If that were to occur, then that region of the United States would experience an earthquake with a magnitude between 8.7 and 9.2. Not only that, but a significant event within this subduction zone would displace a tremendous amount of seawater. This water will surge in all directions. Some will head toward Japan, but the majority will hammer the American Northwest. The water will cover approximately 140,000 square miles of land, including major cities like Seattle, Portland, and Olympia. It would be the single worst natural disaster to have occurred in the history of the United States. Some projections indicate that up to 13,000 people would lose their lives during this event, with thousands more suffering injuries. Plus, over a million people would be displaced. It wouldn't be the first time such an event occurred. Research shows the fault created a magnitude 9.0 earthquake in the year 1700. Scientists suggest there is a 300 to 500 year window in which another major Cascadia event will occur. So, we're already in the middle of a potentially cataclysmic event. Who knows if it'll happen 100 years from now, or in a couple of months. Located on the southern flank of Kilauea is the Helena Slump. This area extends down toward the sea, and it's sliding little by little with each passing year. It's currently moving at about 4 inches per year. However, if an event were to occur to cause the slump to slide entirely into the ocean, it could have catastrophic consequences to the surrounding area. The massive slide could potentially generate a large earthquake. And with such a massive earthquake occurring in the vicinity, it could generate a mega tsunami with waves measuring 1,000 feet across the Hawaiian Islands. While Hawaii would bear the brunt of the damage, it's possible California would be unable to get out of this situation unscathed. If the waves were big enough, then they could travel hundreds of miles per hour and hit the Golden Coast. As recently as 1975, slight movement from the Helena slump created a smaller but still somewhat destructive tsunami that managed to reach California. And that was a small one. The big one, as it were, could perhaps cause a lot more destruction on the continental United States. Scientists are fairly certain such a major event will not occur for several more millennia. But, under the right conditions, it could occur within our lifetimes. Unfortunately, it's not just the western United States that's in danger. The eastern side of the country also faces the risk of a tsunami due to the Cumbre Vieja volcano. 
Scientists have found that the island of La Palma could collapse at some point in the future due to a volcanic eruption from the Cumbre Vieja volcano. Eruptions from this volcano seem to occur once every 200 years, and the last summit eruption occurred in 1949. So, it may be a while until this event actually happens, but with no way to really predict when volcanic eruptions will occur, who's to say when it could occur? When this volcano does erupt, the western flank of the volcano would slide downward into the Atlantic Ocean. As the flank slides down, powerful earthquakes would happen around La Palma, and all the criteria would be in place for a massive mega-tsunami to take place. The waves would move westward towards the Caribbean, the Bahamas, and the eastern United States. Data is still being gathered, with some projections showing the waves from the tsunami could only be about 30 feet in height, while other projections show they could get as high as 300 feet. The good news is that if such an event were to occur, the eastern states would have some time to prepare. The United States Tsunami Warning Center would start monitoring the size of the waves from a system of buoys in the Atlantic Ocean. This would give people in the eastern states about a couple of hours to head as far west as possible to avoid any destruction. When you think of seismically active places on Earth, Turkey is probably not the first thought that comes to mind. As it turns out, this country is actually extremely prone to them, having experienced some of the worst in history, such as the 7.6 magnitude quake of 1999. The area of the country that is most at risk in terms of potential damage is the city of Istanbul. With a population of over 15 million people, a severe quake here could cause untold levels of destruction. In February of 2021, Officials from the Istanbul Metropolitan Municipality presented various studies to the Turkish Earthquake Measures Research Commission. Their research revealed the potential scope of damage residents could face. They estimate that roughly 200,000 buildings would experience moderate to severe damage, leading to over 3 million people being affected. They went on to explain the possible damages to water mains, sewer mains, and natural gas systems in the event of a magnitude 7.5 or higher quake. Since presenting this information, not a whole lot has been done. The real issues lie within the city's 790,000-plus buildings built before the year 2000, when new building codes and regulations were put into place. All the people of Turkey can really do is wait and hope for the best. In 2014, a powerful 8.2 magnitude earthquake struck just off the coast of Chile, creating a small tsunami and numerous powerful aftershocks. The megathrust quake was caused by the meeting of two continental plates, the Pacific and Nazca. Despite the high magnitude, the damage was actually very limited. Six people did unfortunately pass away, but for the most part, structural damage was minimal. The problem, though, is that this may have just been the start of a much bigger event. Some experts have estimated that this earthquake only released roughly a third of the pressure that has been building up between the continental plates. Given that, it's fair to assume that a much larger, more powerful, and devastating quake may be due at any moment. Should this occur, the destruction would be much more immense. Unfortunately, there is no real way to tell when or even if this may happen. But it's something experts have been warning about for years now. The Lake Toba supervolcano has already impacted the planet once before. About 74,000 years ago, the volcano erupted in Indonesia, and a layer of ash about six inches thick was able to spread all over the entire Indian subcontinent. While there is some scientific debate over how much the eruption impacted humanity's evolution, one thing was clear. This was a huge event, and under different conditions, it could have potentially wiped out humanity before we even got a chance to get started. As it turns out, we may not be out of the clear just yet. Research indicates the volcano's magma-generating engine remains active. 
That means the huge magma reservoir underneath the caldera continues to grow, and when it erupts again, it could be just as big as the one all those years ago. For the time being, scientists are confident another eruption won't happen for thousands more years, but they're still keeping a close eye on the Sumatra fault line. If this fault line, which runs through Mount Toba and bisects the island, were to become active yet again, it could reawaken the magma chamber early. There may not be any warning for this kind of surprise event. The only solution would be a mass evacuation of the surrounding area. Of course, there's no need for panic just yet. In fact, if you want to learn more, then be sure to check out our video covering this eruption in much more detail. The world we live in is full of strange surprises, some good and some bad. Let's just hope that the rest of 2021 is only full of good surprises because honestly, we deserve it at this point. Be sure to click the link on screen now to check out more of our videos just like this one. And as always, thank you all for watching, and we hope to see you in the next one.